Now, from this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can delete, update, gate, and post data inside the MongoDB database. In the previous lecture, we understand how to successfully connect the MongoDB database to the Express application. From this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create crude operation in the MongoDB database so you can manage your data. Now, to successfully make the crude operation, you need to follow the MVC pattern. MVC stands for Model View Controller Pattern. This pattern is used to separate application concern. The Model View Controller Pattern or you can say framework is an architectural pattern that separates the application into three main logical component model view and controller all these three logical components are connected together and manage your data so from this lecture i'm going to show you how you can create this mvc pattern application in the express so let me first show you how you can create the model in mvc pattern so what i'm going to do is inside the server file inside my project i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to name it model Inside this model folder, I'm going to create a new file and name this file schema.js. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this file. Inside MongoDB, you have a concept called schema. So what is schema? Schema is a structure of your MongoDB document. Or you can say a blueprint of your MongoDB document. With schema, you can define what type of structure you want in your MongoDB collection. For example, let's say you want to create an object with title and you have some value to this title and you have content like this. I'm going to inform MongoDB to use this structure to create a database document. I'm going to just inform the MongoDB to create the document using this structure. So I'm going to use model for that. Or you can say I'm going to use a schema for that. So let me show you how I can create a schema in MongoDB document. I'm going to get rid of this statement and here I'm going to say MongoDB model. Now you can notice I created a separate file to create a model because we are following the separation of concern principle of programming. So I'm going to create a dedicated file for the model and I'm going to name that file schema. Inside this file, I'm going to first require the mongoose module. So I'm going to say here constant mongoose is equal to and then I'm going to require the mongoose module. Just out of this mongoose, we need the schema class from this mongoose. If I just specify here mongoose dot schema, then I can access this class using this mongoose module. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to separate the schema from this mongoose object. So I'm going to say here, constant schema is equal to, then I'm going to specify mongoose dot schema, like this. Now I can use this schema object instead of specifying this mongoose. I'm going to create a new instance of this schema object. Whenever you create a new model, you need to create a new instance of schema object or you can say schema class. So once I create that, let me specify here parenthesis because it is a class. Inside this parenthesis, we're going to specify object like this. And inside this object, you need to specify the structure of your document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify structure for my document. So I'm going to first specify here title and then I'm going to specify value to it. You don't need to directly specify value here. Instead, you need to specify the type of value you are going to specify inside this title. For example, let's say I'm going to store string value inside this title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just specify here type string. So I'm going to just pass here first an object and here inside it I'm going to specify type is going to be string. So this title is a type of string. So whenever I specify value to this title, I need to specify string value to it. Just down here I'm going to call a MongoDB property called unique and then I'm going to specify value false. I don't want to add a unique value inside this title that is why I specify here unique property. You can find all these properties in Mongo's documentation. You have also a property called required and this is going to be true. Now this title is important for us so I'm going to just make this title required. Once I have my title I'm going to specify my second key. So just down here I'm going to specify comma and say here description and I'm going to specify here an object and specify different properties of Mongo's schema. So here I'm going to say type and this is a type of string and then I'm going to specify here both these properties like this but this time description is not required. So I'm going to say here false. Your MongoDB model or you can say your MongoDB schema is completely ready. This is a very simple example of MongoDB schema. Just out of that what we need we need to store this document inside a collection. As you know, in collection, we have multiple documents. So inside this JavaScript file here, just down here, I'm going to just simply call a mongoose module mongoose and then call a method model. And inside this model method, I'm going to pass the name of my collection and then I'm going to pass this document. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first store this document inside a variable. So here I'm going to say constant to do schema is equal to. So I'm going to just store this document or you can say an instance of the schema inside this to do schema variable. I'm going to first specify the name for the collection. I'm going to create a collection to do's. That's about you. You can specify any name to this collection. I'm going to specify here to do's collection. Just out of that inside this collection. I'm going to have this document. So I'm going to copy this to do scheme and specify that as a second parameter like this. And just out of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this object. So here I'm going to say module dot exports. We successfully created the module of the MVC pattern. Now, once we understand how to create a model inside the express application, let me create different routes for the controller. As you know, we successfully created the module for the application. Let's move and understand how to create a controller. In MVC pattern, C stands for controller. Let me show you how you can create a controller in the MVC application. So what I'm going to do is inside the server folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it routes. And inside this routes, I'm going to create a new file and specify name to it routes.js or you can say route.js. I'm going to create a different route for the controller. So I'm going to simply create here a command and say routes. And just down here, I'm going to say constant route is equal to and then I'm going to specify a function here like this. Inside this parenthesis, I'm going to pass, I'm going to specify a parameter. And inside this function, I can just simply create different routes. Now, instead of creating this route variable here, I can just simply export this app function. So here I'm going to say module dot exports. So now I can export and use this function in my other files. Now here what we need, we need a controller. So at the top, I'm going to first create a command and say required controller. Now, right now I don't have any controller. So I'm going to skip this step. And just down here, I'm going to create app dot post. I'm going to call HTTP method post of app instance. When I call this function inside the server.js, I'm going to pass express app instance in this parenthesis. So using this app, I can access a different HTTP methods inside this function. So inside this post here, I'm going to specify a single code, specify forward slash and create my route. Here I'm going to say create to do. That's about you. You can specify any route inside this post. Just out of that, here I'm going to specify comma and pass the callback function. Here I'm going to pass parentheses, specify request and response. And then you need to call here a function like this. And when the route is matched, I'm going to call this callback function. So inside this callback function, I'm going to send the response to this route. So here I'm going to just simply say response.send. And in the parentheses, in the double quote, I'm going to say response from create, create to do route. Save this file and I'm going to just back to the server.js and require this function. And here I'm going to simply call my route. So I'm going to first say here require routes. And using require statement, I'm going to say here require in the parentheses, in the single quote, I'm going to specify dot forward slash, then specify my route folder routes. And inside that I have route and inside this route, you can notice I just exported a function. I'm going to use that. So I'm going to just specify here parentheses. And as you can notice here to this parentheses, I can pass a parameter. So I'm going to pass this app instance inside this parameter. So I'm going to say here app. Now let me save this file back to the route and save this file as well. Now, as you can notice, we successfully created a simple API inside the express application. Now let me show you how you can test this API. To test this API, I'm going to use Postman. So I'm going to just open the Postman testing tool inside my local host and test this API. If you don't have this application installed in your local system, just head on to your search engine and type Postman and download the exe file of Postman and install in your local system. If you don't know how to work with Postman, I have a dedicated video on it. The link is in the description. Let me create a new tab and inside this enter URL, I'm going to pass the address of my development server. As you can notice, if I open my terminal, you can notice here, this is the address of my development server. I'm going to copy that, open the testing tool, specify that here. And you can notice here, I just have here a route called create to do. I'm going to just specify that here, just like this. And this is a type of post request. So I'm going to just choose here post. Just after that, I'm going to just simply click on this send button. When I click on it, you can notice I'm going to have a response. So this route, is going to return this response. 
Now, as you can notice, we successfully created a simple route inside the Express application. Next, I'm going to show you how you can work with controller in the MVC pattern.